Welcome back. In our last lecture, we introduced the notion of asymmetric algorithms. Today, we're going to talk a little bit more about these public key algorithms. The most widely used, I think probably by far, is the RSA algorithm, the reverse shamir edelman algorithm. And it's based upon the difficulty of factoring large numbers, large products of primes. Okay, so the idea, as with all asymmetric algorithms, is you have a key for encryption and a key for decryption. But unlike most public key algorithms, uh, you can use either key for encryption and the other key for decryption because of the way that the keys are used in a, in a sort of symmetric fashion. Um, okay. Um, as we said last time, any asymmetric algorithm is based on a one-way function, which means a function which is easy to compute but difficult to invert. And there are actually many of these functions out there. In fact, any NP-complete problem uh, is basically based on such a function. And so, for example, Merkel and, and Hellman <coughs> excuse me, proposed a public key encryption system based on what's called a knapsack problem, which means if you have a large quantity of integers and, and you, uh, you give a number which is the sum of some subset of those integers, then it's difficult to find exactly that subset without doing an exhaustive search. And so that's, a, um, that's an example of a problem which is easy to check once you propose such a, such a set, but it's difficult to find. Uh, that algorithm, as with many of these alternative algorithms, are, is, is theoretically very secure, but it has practical difficulties because it's hard to implement that uh, and make that work in, in real time. Okay, so what can we do with a public key algorithm? Well, if you recall, in a symmetric scenario, if I get a message from somebody with whom I share a key, and I believe that no one else has that key, and the message is encrypted with that key, then I'm pretty sure that the message came from that guy, right? Because nobody else could have, could have created it. Do we have a similar assurance in uh, an asymmetric scenario? Well, suppose that uh, B sends a message to A encrypted with A's public key, okay? Well, I know that the mess, or B knows that the message was arrived securely or confidentially because only A has the key which will allow the decryption of the message. On the other hand, he doesn't know for sure that the message came from B because anyone might have A's public key. And so I get privacy, but I don't get authentication encrypting with A's public key. On the other hand, suppose that A receives a message encrypted with B's private key. Well, in this case, A does know that the message came from B because no one besides B has that private key. And if A can decrypt with uh, B's public key, right, uh, then he knows that it must have been encrypted with A's private key and only B has that. So we get authentication. On the other hand, he doesn't get confidentiality because it might be the case that anybody has B's public key. And so anybody might capture that message on the way in and, and eavesdrop. Okay, so in that case, encryption with a private key is an authenticity transformation, but not a privacy transformation. And remember we said that, that really uh, encrypting with a private key and decrypting with a public key actually only works in RSA. In most uh, other public key algorithms, you need actually two sets of keys, one for authenticity or for signing, and the other for privacy. Okay, so what have we said? Well, RSA is the most widely used public key algorithm. Until recently, it was a copyright algorithm, and so you couldn't just use it uniformly, but the uh, copyright now has expired, and so you're welcome to use it. RSA is symmetric in the use of keys, meaning that either key can be used for encryption and the other key for decryption, but that's not true of almost any other public key algorithm. In fact, I don't know of any others. Uh, and a public key encryption can be used for authenticity or for privacy, but not both. Uh, you have to use different keys to gain the, the two different parts of that equation. Thank you.